Welcome to the Classic Wines Minute, brought to you by ClassicWines.com. I'm your host, Brian Friedman. Today, we're tasting old Bordeaux, or at least kind of old Bordeaux. We have the 1995 Chateau Simard Saint-Emilion, which is on the right side of the river in Bordeaux. 95 was a great year for Saint-Emilion, for Pomerol. Um, and this bottle is less than 30 bucks, so if you can find it, get a couple of them, because it's not that common to be able to find such a great wine from a great vintage at such a great price. So without any further ado, let's just pour this right from the bottle into the glass here. And I hope you can pick this up on camera. You'll notice that the color is a bit different from most of the younger wines that uh, the majority of us drink every day, or three or four times a day. Uh, it's not blue or purple or inky like a lot of them are. It's more brick toned. There's more brown, there's more orange in the color. This is typical of a wine with a bit of bottle age. Well, smell it. Now this is very typical of, uh, of a bottle this old. Uh, I'm not getting a lot of fruit on the nose. There's more in the way of mushroom, damp underbrush. Uh, there's a really strong character. Of, of like dried flower petals in there, almost like dried roses. Um, but it's, I'm not getting a whole lot of fruit. Not concerned about that. Let's see what it tastes like. Now it's on the palate that the red berry fruit really comes out. There's more acid there, which keeps it livelier, fresher. It's actually a very pleasant wine, but I will tell you it's still fairly closed. Not surprising, seeing as it's a 12-year-old bottle of wine. So, you see we have an assortment of high-end decanters here on the side. We have the classics from, from Riedel, from Nachman, from other producers, and we also have this one from Taste of Purple. Probably a bit different from what you're used to seeing. I like this one especially because, you know, when you are, uh, when it comes to, you know, having to clean them, you can actually get your hands in there and dry it out, which is really a benefit. So. Let's get this some air. Now, when we're decanting a wine like this, you can see here the wine is really spreading out there. So we're increasing the surface area of the wine that's in contact with the oxygen. This is a good thing. It should open it up. It should give it a bit more, uh, a bit more finesse, a bit more softness. All right, so let's really get some air in there. I love this handle on the bottom because it does make it easy to swirl it around. All right, and just pour it right down the pour spout here. And believe it or not, decanting a wine like this Chateau Simard for that little amount of time should actually have a noticeable impact. So let's see. Well, again, the nose is much more like cafe mocha, chocolate. The berries are a bit riper. Uh, it's still an old bottle of wine, but it's just more friendly. So let's see how it tastes. You know, I didn't swallow. I mean, I didn't spit it. I'm in denial, clearly. But uh, you know what? The wine really is, it's more open-knit, it's more friendly, it's more approachable. Um, frankly, I feel like the wine is really now strutting its stuff like I wanted it to. With older wines like this, decant it. This is the way to go. Don't be afraid of doing that. Um, either way, enhance your enjoyment of the wine. Don't be afraid to drink older ones. They're not all expensive, and they're not all for old British guys. It's okay to enjoy your old Bordeaux. Thanks to Taste of Purple for helping us out with the decanters today. From all of us here at ClassicWines.com, I'm Brian Friedman. Cheers.